Hey guys, welcome back to some more Majora's Mask. Back in a new cycle, it's time for a whole new set of three days. And this set of three days is a whole bunch of a side quest. So I hope you enjoy. Probably the longest quest in the whole game. Alright, I'm out. New cycle, new Marley. Hi, Marley. <laughs> new cycle, new Marley. Yes, exactly the same as normal, except just a little more tired. <laughs> and that makes sense. We woke up at 6 a.m. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, actually. <laughs> Wait, are you doing this side quest already? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So at this point, we have access to everything related to the longest side quest in the game, known as the Anjun Cafe side quest. So, time to get started. This will take up our whole three-day cycle. Oh, this is going to be fun. Fun fact, in the time it takes you to do this entire side quest cycle, you can finish Kirby's Dreamland twice. <laughs> I can believe it. Yeah. Well, someone go put out Kirby and start playing while we're recording. Let's see. Yeah, speed run. Man, I love <laughs> Kirby's Dreamland. Such a fun game, even though it's so short. It's like Super Mario Land. Yep, pretty much a quick pick up and play game. You can easily beat it in just like a couple minutes. I don't know. I kind of like games that are just like snack size games anymore. The very arcade feeling too, which helps. Yeah. Ring the bell, Lester. Can't tell me no one's home. I saw you go in, sir. That Jehovah's Witness that stalks you from coming home. <laughs> <laughs> liar! I just, I just post a clip of Anakin going, <laughs> liar! <laughs> He's like, ah, uh, nope. He's so. like, oh man, it's that buddy hooded man again. Lester, I just want, I want a clip. I just, I just want you to put a clip when he, when Andrew did that. Be like, what the dog doing? <laughs> Okay, well, I don't need to then, because that wasn't Andrew. That's someone else. I don't know who that is. Sorry! <laughs> what is names? I get their names mixed up. Sorry. I'm sorry. I've only ever actually sat down and played through, and you're in the void. How'd that happen? Nice camera. I was about to say, that's a nice looking skybox there. So, this side quest is heavily determined on hours in the game, so us. I'm not even going to show code anymore. Us cheating in Sun Song is going to really help here because now we can jump ahead to more exact moments, kind of like the song of Double Time in 3DS Majora's Mask. Here we can't get into the mayor's office until around 10 a.m. I have to say around because trying to get in the front door, good luck, because there's someone in front of it at 10 a.m. But we need to be in here and actually coming in around 11, we get this little interaction. Basically telling this guy, uh, yeah, that show we had planned for the carnival, it's now canceled. And, uh, yeah, our little circus leader friend here is a little mad about that. Because he was going to perform in it. Now he can't. Explains why he's drinking in the milk bar. Yeah, that's what it says. Like, is that why he got drunk in the milk bar? Yeah, he basically is drinking his stars away. Again, you cannot get drunk on milk. <laughs> Stop it. It's milk. <laughs> It's spiked milk. Very spiked. Or we're kind of going to ocean dub dubbing here and it's eggnog. Ah, I think you've been dipping into the eggnog. <laughs> Might as well be. Hey, at least it's better than going to like four kids Yu-Gi-Oh GX dubbing of it's hot sauce. Oh yeah. Okay, that's even weirder. That's even weirder. What? Yeah, I remember that. That was weird too. Yeah, because... <sighs> Who drinks hot sauce? Yeah, drinking it by the gallon. Yeah, that that's going to be fun. Your insides aren't going to be screaming. There's going to be somebody comment on this saying, "Yeah, I do." <laughs> <laughs> I've watched I've watched enough episodes of Hot Ones to know that's not how you do it. Yeah, that's enough to go to the ER. Mm. You want to get acid reflux? You talk about burning the entirety of your esophagus just completely gone. I know you said acid reflux, but I heard acid reflex. So I'm just I'm just picturing it's just mmm. Oh, I'm feeling that burning sensation. I mean, I reflex when I see hot sauce. Like, no, get that away. <laughs> I'm at acid reflux. I know it's like I'm feeling that burning sensation, and I need to dodge like I'm in a quick time event at the same time. About time that conversation lasted for almost an hour. He's a slow talker, okay. You can't really talk to the lady in question here, Renee Natatu, Madame Roma, because of our Gorman troop leader here. He has that conversation from 11 to 11.45. Very long talk as to why his show's canceled. 
We want to talk to Aroma here because she has a job for us. Find her missing son. She thinks we're a private detective. What gave it away? The bunny hood? Well, I mean, uh, what is it? Is it Detective Conan that's the anime about the high school student who's... Like a young boy who's a detective? Maybe, maybe this is... I'm wondering if Majora's Mask came out at a time where, you know, minors as detectives was a normalized thing, and they're like, yeah, it'll fit in Majora's Mask, fair enough. You, you know what I think of whenever I hear of detective in high school? I think Death Note. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. You know, life and death situations, let's just leave it all to the 16-year-old. Oh, well that, well that, well that makes kind of sense, because I guess maybe the L stands for Link, but his posture's way too good. <laughs> also, I love when you taught the circus later and he was like, I'm mad now, I'm so mad I'm gonna walk in place. Yep. <laughs> and this interaction I also really like too. You can get this interaction between Anju and her grandmother around noon here on the first day. She goes, woo, after not getting food, but to sneak it away. Uh, wait, you heard that. Would you like me to read you a story? Like, yeah, that's not what you said. I heard you. She doesn't like eating Andrew's food because we read a little personal diary here and it basically says Andrew's cooking is really bad. So the grandmother fakes eating it because of how bad the food is. Oh, that's just... that's not nice. It's, it's the humor of her granddaughter, but at the same time also not have to throw off. You know, that's... It's like, I do it to humor my granddaughter, but this is not funny. It's just like, a, you know, I get it. I, I get it. You want to be nice, but sometimes you just kind of have to rip the band-aid off and be like, Hey, your, fo your food sucks, man. You need to get be, be, be better. Yeah. Could use more salt. Actually, I was thinking less salt, probably. So around 2 o'clock, the postman shows up here to deliver some mail to Anju. And apparently it's a very important piece of mail here because she is wondering where this even came from. Smart Alec here goes from the post box. Yeah, but which one? He won't reveal. That's private. Which one? Yeah! 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 Man, it really takes 15 minutes to deliver one letter, doesn't it? Hey man, you know, the post office has a very stressful job. You don't understand how hard it is to be a postman. And how easy for it is for them to misread a number from 7 to 9 and deliver your package all the way down the street. Oh, your postal system's broken too? Some Someone's not bitter. Someone's not petty. <laughs> So, a lot going on now, but around 2 o'clock, we can go ahead, use this mask to talk to Andrew, set up the midnight meeting here, or 11.30, but it is midnight by the time you talk to her. But, more importantly, talking to her around 2 o'clock, we can go ahead and get ourselves the room key by taking someone else's reservation. Oops, sorry, buddy. The reservation's weird when you look at it, though, because in the 3DS version, they changed it. You're taking the reservation from someone else. We'll learn in just a second here. That we're taking it from a Goron. So, canonically, we should not have gotten this reservation. We share the name, but we look nothing like a Goron. And I thought of that for 3DS. So, in the N64 version, the human, Goron, and Zora form can get the room key. In 3DS, only the Goron can get the reservation. Still the same mix-up, though. That makes sense. That's so good. I like that. Oh, wow. That, that <laughs> My is a change. Fair. My name is Fairy Bo Boy Goro. Who would name a Goron Fairy Boy? Yeah, very good question. These don't even have fairies. Gorons never are associated with it. So, ooh, wow, weird name. So, yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. We took your reservation. Kind of need it for plot. So, I hope you'll be okay sleeping out in the rain. It does rain on the second day. Hey, hey, it, it, it's okay. Fairy Boy's got, uh, like, a bajillion rupees in the bank. He'll cover you. Cover your expenses. Unfortunately, there's not a free room available because he wouldn't mind booking a new room, but the place is booked. And there's no other hotels in the area, so he's just kind of screwed. Just kind of has to sleep outside. He actually does. Oh, poor on. dude. Yeah, he, he, he literally sleeps right outside the door here. 
The Ramshack will win, but that's why they give you 100 rupees. It's your rebate. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> doo, doo, doo. You know what the funny thing is? I just realized I'd been muted for the last five minutes. Oh no. Oh no. That is a little bit awkward. So I'm wondering how much I was having a conversation with myself. <laughs> That's just called this hobby. Uh, don't worry. I've still recorded the audio on my end so I can sort of make it like salvageable, right? That's how it works. <laughs> Great, now it's just gonna seem like we're ignoring you every time you talk at this point. <laughs> nah. Fine, I can ignore everyone to talk about Gorman Brothers. There's enough audio that I'm sure Lester can salvage it. That's the important thing. Yeah, pretty much. Detective Link. Oh, I see the thing. <laughs> 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 he said a picture of Link with a, on L's face. Yeah. <laughs> Detective L, not wrong. I've been there the whole time. Yeah. So I guess I should just mention these guys are ripoff artists. Gorman Brothers sell you milk for 50 rupees. Don't buy it. You can literally get milk for way cheaper in Clocktown or just get it for free using a Pona song. But that's not really why we're here. One, we can do a little bit of a Easter egg thing. Wear the circus leader's mask here or troop leader mask, depending on your version. And these guys get emotional because this is the face of their brother back in Clocktown. So they really do feel sympathetic for what he's going through and then realizes, oh, we can't be sad. Take that off. <laughs> is that literally the only... Is that literally the only use for the mask? In this version, that's one of the only uses. This and then doing the little traversal quest again to get the clock town with the Gordon Brothers chasing Link. Like, that's pretty much it. That's why they had to add a side quest to this game for the 3DS version, just to give the mask more of a purpose. Because remind me again, the Gorman Brothers for Majora's Mask, Talon is not in Majora's Mask, is he? You know, because that was an Ocarina of Time character. And you don't even see Talon's model show up in this game at all. Well, no, no, we do. And he's the bar owner in this game, technically. That's his model. Because it's just like the, the the Mario Luigi thing, but I could have sworn that if he was a Majora's Mask, it was so separated from Malin and the, the, the farm that it is so easy to miss him even being in the game, because I couldn't remember seeing him anywhere. I mean, the only kind of comparison you can make to the whole ranch thing now is that he accepts the milk from the ranch here. I'm loving this freeze frame, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did not try for this, but somehow we got the exact same. I'm talking almost falling off horse pose we had in Ocarina of Time when we had the race happen, but sure, you know, we take two for two of those. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Just let ride like the wind bullseye and also just... It's just tradition at this point. <laughs> I guess whenever we get the Twilight Princess, we gotta hope that happens too, even though I think it's physically impossible with how the models work in conversations. Dang it, we gotta try now. Dude, well, not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> also, these guys cheat. Yeah. I was gonna say, Lester, given your track record, I'm sure you'll find some way to break the game to cooperate and make it happen. And that's why we gotta play the GameCube or the Wii U version. That Wii U version, not that easy to break. Go for the GameCube version. <laughs> and specifically the GameCube version. Yeah, exactly. And with all them bugs, man, I want that early Master Sword. Anyways, that was a race. Just try to stay ahead of these guys with the stamina and use the, the fences around you, the jump, to keep your speed. Because the thing is, these guys do kind of rubber band AI a bit, but if you stay far enough ahead, that really won't matter much. Mm -hmm. Like Amber said, the cheat. They do. <laughs> but this is really why we came here. You want to race the Gorman Brothers for the Gara Mask, but you can only do this on days one and two. After that, on day three, they don't even show up here anymore. And we need the Gara Mask to get to our next area, so this is required to beat the game. So it's not so much padding, it's just... Because they're cowards. Yep. Because also, I wanted to make sure we did that before night, so we were cutting it close there. At 6pm, they shut down for the night and they aren't in that area either. Oh, definitely. Crawl up the stairs, uh... Quietly. <laughs> we'll talk in the kitchen, and you'll see how dirty it is. Yeah, <laughs> the place is infested with ants, 
You got some fish just swimming in the water. There's weeds in the sink. The health code violation waiting. That looks so weird, dragging it with the mask on. Yeah, just drinking it right through the eye sockets at that point. <laughs> the weird kind of milk bath. Dude, seriously? Where's the health inspector? Yeah, I really need it here. Should be a one star. Should be shut down. Alright, it's time to talk. You're in the kitchen. Let's talk. Are you kidding me? Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> She was not in the spot designated for the dialogue change, so it doesn't matter if you're in the kitchen. We have to wait until we're in the kitchen to talk. Very picky. You mean this tile in the kitchen? <laughs> wait until I come up to the sixth tile on the, on the, on the sixth row to the twelfth column, then we can talk. That counts as kitchen. Channeling her in a cortex, I must reach the spot. Which is two steps forwards. Yeah, essentially. So all that was basically saying, I want to mail this letter to my fiancé that I can't find. I got contacted by him, and you're looking for him, so can you mail this for me? I don't know why she doesn't do it herself. She just says she's scared, but she could have just handed it to the postman at the time. I don't know. It's weird, but it also makes sense. She could have just gone to the post box and dumped it in there! Yeah, because there's literally one outside, but she's scared. You trust the postal system? That's very brave of you. Got a point. 